Hi everyone, I wanted to do a quick um, video as I've had um, quite a few messages actually in relation to the CIPD qualifications and I've had um, a message from someone who I message quite a lot on Twitter um, and she's asked me to ask this question. I'm sure there may be other people that would um, like an answer to this particular question. So she asked if um, they've completed level three um, which is the foundation in um, or HR management um, or certificate in HR practice, as some people may know it. And it was uh, that foundation for the level three, she wondered if it was actually enough um, to consider potentially going straight on to a level seven qualification. Um, the answer is yes, in some cases. Um, I chose not to do that route purely for a um, my own confidence uh, perspective um, but if you are being recommended by your tutor I would definitely seek feedback as to whether you think that that is the right route for you um, as opposed to then going on a three a five and a seven um, so I think it's it depends on your circumstances, first of all, and whether you feel confident enough to take on the level seven. Absolutely. Um, there's no reason why you can't. Um, again, when I did the original certificate in personnel practice is what it was um, called back then, show my age a little bit. Um, so when I first did that, I was then offered a place at um, Bucks New University in High Wycombe. Um, so I did actually do my um, or start my degree there, um, but um, due to various circum or life circumstances, I then decided to um, study it from the beginning again in line with what is now known as the, the new line of qualifications. And I did the level three, five and now seven via those more modern uh, methods. So I think that it depends on the opportunity that you've got um, and given your drive and your motivation and everything else, um, just as long as you absolutely research the heck out of it, generally it is um, one of those situations where you could actually um, just skip the, the five. Um, the, the level five qualification, if you're not familiar with it, was actually brought in as a bridging between levels um, three and seven because level seven was always seen as as quite a jump in terms of the foundation qualification right onto the advanced level. The good thing about the level five and why I enjoyed it so much was because it gave me the ability to start transitioning from that foundation level through to right okay so how does this actually work in practice so I found that the level five was incredibly relevant in line with um, the qualifications um, and experience level that you would be required to work at a more strategic um, level and what I mean by that is actually you start to see how the foundation translates into practice once you start your level five um, but then you're able to strategically apply what you've learned within the level five into the level seven and what you're actually seeing is more of a, a desirable qualification now uh, with the CIPD advanced awards so I hope that gives a little bit of scope as to why people would like to do um, or, or may which everybody's path is different and I think it gives you an idea as to why we would you know seek to work through through those methods i think it just provides a bit more of a structure um as to why we're doing what we do and it gives you that knowledge base um, the additional part to remember is that also i met a lot of connections um whilst doing my studies at different journeys and we while some of us branched off and stopped at various points um a lot of us have actually got very different career paths now so it's 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 everybody's journey is different and you've got to do what's right for you but if you're already studying an existing CIPD qualification then my advice to you would be to speak to your tutor see what their feedback is and ultimately 
remember that the ultimate goal of that level seven is a really big commitment as I've done in my in my previous video if you wanted to view that so yeah I, I appreciate that's quite a lot of information um, in a very short time frame but um, if there's anything or any more questions that you want answering then please keep sending them my way I've now got an additional five videos <laughs> to do um, in response to the questions that I'm receiving at the moment so do keep them coming i am enjoying doing this series i have to admit and a, a big thank you all to to all of you for participating in it and i'm, I'm pleased that i can help in some way um, as you can see i am wearing my kindness t-shirt so that might be a hint of things to come um over the next uh the next few months um September the 1st might be an interesting date for your diaries um for those of you who have um who have supported me with HR Acts of Kindness established in 2016. I can't believe I'm saying that in now in 2019. That's incredible. Um, I will be um, making sure that there are some new challenges for September that are coming up. Um, additionally, um, there may be an announcement um, that I want to <laughs> that I want to share with you all. You'll start seeing a hashtag, and this is an exclusive on this video. You'll start seeing a hashtag um, around uh, a happiness at work festival. Hmm. That might be happening in, you know, imminently in 2020. So I'm just finalising the um, particulars around that. But there will be a happiness at work festival where I'm going to be focusing on a lot of well-being stuff. There will be a further announcement that comes out shortly um, around that so that you'll get plenty more details. I can confirm that it will be in proximity to London. So that might be an interesting one. Um, and if it is successful, I may need to take the festival up north as well. But let's see how we get on. Anyway, if you've got any questions or anything else that you want me to run by, then I'll be more than happy to do it. Um, I will be doing a series of more videos coming up around CIPD qualifications that will more than likely become a, a regular feature on the blog. Um, so thank you all very much for your um, participation and indeed your ongoing support with my blog. Um, um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to working with you all for much longer. So thank you very much. Take care. Bye.